Hi guys, Eric here from Elozo. Today I will discuss a micro brand and one of the lesser known brands in the watch world, Oxen Jr. Oxen Jr. was born in 2006 and is currently owned by the Oxen family. They're known for their minimalist annual calendar and some Uli Sedan powered watches. For those unaware, Ludwig Oxlin, one of the owners and watchmakers, is the one person responsible for the restoration of the astronomical clock in the Vatican Library and the freak model of Uli Sedan. Today, I will quickly discuss the watch specs and go to what I love and dislike about the watch and just my general thoughts about it. Let's get into it. The Settimana Black is their entry-level watch and features an hour, minutes, and central seconds. The hands are coated with Swiss Super Lominova. This model is a 36mm version but is still powered by the same SW201 found in its bigger sibling. Lug to lug is also still 36mm. It's a grade 5 titanium with the black dial and white Arabic numerals. What makes this watch different though from other watches powered by the same movement is that it features a day indicator than a date. So now, let's go to what do I like about the watch. First, the minimalist design. This is the main reason why I opted for this brand in the first place. No logo or branding on any part of the watch. I did get an engraving at the back as I bought this for a special occasion. The day indicator and its implementation are also something you don't see every day. Here's a demonstration of the movement including the change from Sunday to Monday. Second, the regulation was on point. During my time of using it, I timed it at around plus 2 seconds per day, well within a spec for an SW200. Third, legibility. White on black dial and vice versa provides high value contrast. The black text on the white dial version is actually recommended for those who prefer the best legibility. I opted for black and white colors as it's also my favorite palette due to the ease of use. It's not that my eyesight is failing, but I like to be able to read the time with just a glimpse of my wrist. Lastly, exclusivity. I like microbands and lesser known watches, so Oxum Jr. fits the bill. Now, let's get into what I do not like about the watch, and maybe about the brand. There are only a couple of things I don't actually like. Though I did print the regulation, it's not a perfect watch by any means. There's a minor issue, I believe, in setting and placement of the disc as it's a minor defect during the change from Sunday to Monday. As demonstrated, once the dot starts moving from Sunday to Monday and ends on Monday, there's a little gap in the circle at the end. This gap only disappears once the time continues until around 11am. I reported this matter to its support but they failed to take any action and it was dragged out. The company was very responsive during the whole sale and delivery process. After the item has been delivered, it's mainly silent. For the record, I was patient and have reached out a couple of times. Not wanting to ruin the relationship, I just learned to live with it. Second, I have mixed feelings about the strap. Though it does look good and custom fitted to the wrist, I had some concerns about a few things. First, it's a tad thick, which includes the keepers. I think this would be more suited for the watch's bigger sibling. However, I would say that it's a personal preference. Second, the durability. In just a few weeks of use, a bit of strain is already being applied to the tongue buckle holes. Lastly, the buckles are a tad too sharp on the edges. However, given how aesthetically pleasing it is for me and that it doesn't hit my skin, I'm willing to let it slide. One thing I like about the strap, however, is how easy it is to change the strap as there's ample space for the spring bar tool to grab the spring bar. Do note that for those who like NATO straps, there won't be any space for your strap to loop into. Overall, the watch is great. I love the design. I love the direction the company is going. I enjoy the exclusiveness of the watch. However, I do hope that this review will inspire them to review their after sales support. One of the great things about smaller companies is that, in my opinion, they can create a closer relationship with the clients. This would be more beneficial as Oxum Jr. don't advertise and uses the word of mouth to get the name around. Will I still recommend the watch and the brand? It's still a yes for me. 
I think the problem can easily be solved with a bit of tweaking and after sales support can be reviewed anytime. Like always, like, subscribe, leave some comments below if you have any questions and I will see you on my next video.